Hey guys, Introverted Tech here. So I wanted to come back one week later and tell you guys how I feel about the new Apple Watch Series 6 Stainless Steel Gold. First thing I noticed is the always on display while I'm working out in the gym. I can see it better. The screen pops up faster while you're trying to see your stats. I wish I could show you the video, but it didn't come out as well as I wanted to. So can't show you that, but definitely worth it. Even in the sun, you can see the always on display better. I was able to find a comparison between the Series 5 and Series 6 always on display in the sun on Mac Rumors. The other thing I love is the fast charging. So when you're using sleep tracking, you have to charge the phone before you go to sleep most of the times for it to work. Or just, you know, when you're using your watch a lot or you start with the early day, it really is easy to get a quick charge now with this new Series 6. I also enjoy the blood oxygen read. I love anything fitness and health that the Apple Watch brings. That alone makes me upgrade anytime. Also, I suffer from anxiety and panic attacks, so I'm excited to see what they do with that in the future where you can eventually predict or recognize when you're about to have a panic attack and they give you breathing exercises to help prevent that or slow it down. I made a big fuss about the new gold, but as is all Apple products, it eventually grew on me and now I'm in love with it. Although and sometimes in the light, it can look a lot like silver and you can't see the gold as much. But um, other than that, I'm satisfied with it. I'm just going to sell my other bands that have gold in them like the Modern Buckle um, on eBay. I wanted to discuss the sleep tracking. I have mixed feelings about this. I used to have a Fitbit before the Apple Watch and they do really good with sleep tracking. This one, it doesn't give you as much details or it's just I don't like the way they display it. So I'm still trying to get on board. I don't wear my Apple Watch to sleep every night, but I do try, you know, as much as I can just so I can kind of build data and see if I really like the sleep tracking. The Apple Watch faces really didn't move me this time around with the Watch OS 7. The one that I do like is the Me Emoji. I like that face and I'm using that one a lot though. With the pandemic still alive and well, um, I do like the hand watching feature on the Apple Watch. I really use it a lot. I, it even reminds you to wash your hands as soon as you get home from, you know, being out in the stores and everything. So that is one addition to Watch OS 7 that I do enjoy. If deciding to upgrade to the new Series 6, if you're coming from a 5, you won't see much of a change if you're an average consumer and don't really care about getting the latest Apple product each year. But if you're upgrading from a Series 4 or earlier, it's really worth the upgrade. Last but definitely not least, I'm so excited to do Fitness Plus when it comes out later this year. Um, I really enjoy going to Orange Theory, but in those days that I can't make it there, I would love to have, you know, yoga or dancing or something that I can do at home. So really excited for that. I'm definitely going to make a video when that does release and I'm going to do Apple One and bundle everything all together so that way I'll save money with all the app subscriptions that I have. There you have it. That's how I feel about the Apple Watch Series 6 after a week of using it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Submit any questions you may have about the Apple Watch or any um, features that you saw in the video.